I want to get to the reunion, but I also want to ask you about a big cliffhanger that we saw in season five. And that was, of course, Christine Quinn. Did you fire her or will you fire her? So I also address that in the reunion. And I think it's that's a you know, it's complicated. And I'm going to be speaking with Christine actually in a few days. Oh, wow. Have you guys not well, spoken since? Briefly, but not really addressed the issues that we need to address. So that's something that I want to do in person. And, and, I, and I hope that we can do that. Um, but I, I answer that in the reunion. I'll let that speak for itself. But you know, those are the kind of the facts I can give you. Do you mind just kind of telling me from the beginning? Like, yeah, exactly what happened. So my client called me. He asked if I knew somebody named Christine. I instantly knew it was going to be bad. And he wanted to let me know that she had offered him money to not work with me anymore. And did she? I know you can't go into like whether or not she's still with the O group or not, but did she really do what Emma is accusing her of doing or is it a bigger? That's something where I want to speak with Christine and I want to okay. okay. understand all the nuances and the facts before I, you know, say anything public because, um, you know, I want to be fair to everyone involved. I like to make sure that I understand all of the facts and all of the details before I uh, make any decisions and certainly before I would ever go on record. Do you think that there's a selling sunset without Christine? Or do you think that she really is like an integral part of the show? Well, I don't, I think there's, that everyone is, is integral to the show. So um, I think that's really a question for I suppose production and Netflix and and myself and Christine. I think that's something that needs to be discussed and worked through, of, you know, as we probably move forward towards you know additional seasons. Yeah. But it's not just a decision for me. You know, I don't look at it as just a decision for me either. And I think there's also probably different, you know, avenues and and possibilities that that I haven't, you know, that I probably need to be discussed. So I, I really don't have a definitive answer on that. Let's break down the reunion a little bit. I know you mm -hmm. hinted at what you guys talked about. What was the biggest topic of conversation? I think it got into a lot of the, I mean, basically the issues that, that you've asked me um, and the issues that were on season five. I think it really just goes through a lot of the, um, relationships and issues and uh, you know again also we were there for quite a while and I'm sure we edited down into you know some 30 or 45 minute episode so the truth is I really don't know um, what will be on the reunion you know after they after production does their work but I can say that during that day I mean just about everything was discussed we were we were there for quite a while when you say quite a while, how many hours were you guys there for? I mean, the the women were there early in the morning, you know, because they do hair and makeup and my brother and I kind of roll in a little later. I mean, it was morning till night, so I, I don't even know how many hours, but it was a, probably the longest day that I've ever filmed. It was an epic set, so it was fun. You know, I mean, it, that's not the only <laughs> adjective that I would use for that day, but um, <laughs> a, a credit to, to everyone involved because it was quite, an impressive um, production. And, and I think that all the cast, you know, brought it in terms of their honesty and, and their willingness to, you know, talk about things. And I am I think it will be well received and I think it will explain a lot and go into a lot of the issues that you're asking. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to pretend it was easy for everyone either. Yeah, I was going to say, you said the word fun, but in my mind, I, I imagine it was emotional in a lot of ways. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 by no means do I want to describe that day as fun. <laughs> or would anybody have done it? <laughs> there were aspects of that day that I think were right. enjoyable, but uh, it was a very emotionally demanding uh, day for certainly for me and I'm sure for, for many of us. So it was a day that I'm glad is over, was rewarding and it's, you know, in that it was, I think, cathartic and, and helpful. Yeah, and it'll be a, a, a it's a certainly a great reunion episode. It'll be difficult to watch, I'm sure, as was, you know, Selling Sunset season five. But mm -hmm. it's now in the past and and I feel like it's giving me a chance to to really start to move forward. Christine came down with COVID or she tested positive for COVID. She was not there 
But then she was at a photo shoot two days later. I think Chriselle actually called her a liar. I just want your take on what happened with Christine and the reunion and her absence. Uh, I mean, I didn't test Christine myself for COVID, so I really don't know. Um, you know, I support, of course, always support and laugh and, and, and love everything that Chriselle does. Um, but I probably don't want to say anything that is controversial. And the truth is, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I really don't. So she okay. wasn't there. She has her reasons. I'll, I think I'll let them speak for themselves. She did not zoom in either, correct? No, she didn't. Okay. I mean, if I was her, I probably wouldn't want to. Well, know. Manza had COVID um, and zoomed in. Yeah. Which... And she had COVID. She's pretty tough, and you know she's getting better, but she definitely had COVID. Okay, but she's okay. She's on the mend. Yeah, she is. Okay. I like how you said she definitely had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's um that is funny um i'm just hoping that christine does eventually address everything she did will we get that in season six if not at the reunion well we won't get it you know i, I mean I'll, I'll let the reunion speak for itself but i imagine you know gen generally everything gets discussed and the and production has a great job of making sure the cameras are there so i would not be surprised if we cover everything, you know, moving forward, you know, in front of the cameras. How is the uh, the selling the OC spinoff coming along? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, that show is going to be so great. How uh, does it compare? Along. Oh, I mean, it's a little different, I think. You know, it's, uh, but I think that the trailer, I don't know, I, I guess I'm allowed to, to say that, that that we may have shown the trailer to, uh, I can't remember if I'm allowed to talk about the trailer. Anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if the trailer is available and out there soon, um, but it's amazing. It's It, it really is the, probably the best trailer I've ever seen. Oh my um, And the show is gonna be amazing. I mean, it really is gonna be amazing. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that show is extremely successful. For this show, Selling Sunset, how long are we gonna have to wait until season six? Are you guys filming right now? I imagine it's gonna be a little, a, a, a bit, because, okay. you know, we'd have to get through lots of filming and post-production. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.